Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how to make creating a Microsoft Teams room a little easier uh, with a GUI for a change. Normally I'm all about PowerShell and I do have a lovely PowerShell script, which I'll run you through at some point when I can be bothered to fix it. Um, but this one is actually built into the M365 Admin Center. And it's one of those ones where unless you know where it is, you'll never find it. So I'm just at the home page here. Uh, if you don't know, you can actually move and change and add cards around here. So, you know, if you just hit add cards, you might find some additional cards that aren't actually on your panel that you can add. And one of them is, if I scroll down, it just happens to be where I've put it, is training guides and assistance. And in here, the middle button here is advanced deployment guides and assistance. So if I click on that, I've got these advanced deployment guides. So if I go to, well, if I just go to search, for instance, and I just type in room. Right, so if you search for room, what happens is you get this filtered kind of view, Surface Hub and Microsoft Teams Rooms Setup Guide. And you're thinking to yourself, well, this is just a guide. This is just telling me how to do it. Well, actually, You'll be pleasantly surprised, hopefully. <clears throat> so this is actually um, a guide that actually creates the room account with everything you need to get going. Uh, and it's really, really quick. So you can choose between Surface Hub and Teams Room. I'm gonna create a Teams Room and press Next. And then it just walks you through some of the planning steps, like, you know, and, and some of the links that you need to to go and read, to uh, kind of educate yourself on what Microsoft Teams rooms are and what you need to get them going. Could be firewall rules and a bunch of other stuff. Right, and now it's gonna ask you some specific things. So, uh, namely, you know, where is the device account to be hosted? You know, maybe you're a hybrid environment. Um, you know, maybe maybe you're still using Software Business Server. So me, I'm just using Teams. Uh, I'm using Exchange Online. I don't have any other servers available. How will you manage your devices? So you know, for me, it's Azure Active Directory, but you could still be on you know uh, on prem Active Directory. Uh, and then you know, is your is your network behind a, a proxy? Mine isn't. Yours might be. Right, so now a little more guidance and a few other things. There's a network connectivity test page to make sure that your network is okay. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna press next. Right, so here, it's gonna list all the accounts that I might already have. Um, so these are all the accounts that I've got. I'm gonna create a new one. And then it's gonna ask me, you know, do you have an existing resource account? Well, in my case, it's no, but maybe you've already created one. For me, I'm just going to say no, <clears throat> then I'm just going to paste in a name. If you know me, you know I'm into sci-fi and stuff. Um, I'll let you figure out what Razorcrest actually is. Right, so display name, Razorcrest MTR, alias Razorcrest at UC Status. Uh, location. Let me go ahead and say United Kingdom. Right, so here you can you can set up what's called an auto response, and then down here you've got the mail tip. So the mail tip is that thing you get when you first create the invite and you add the room to that invite. It will pop up a little mail tip uh, close to the top, and it'll it'll kind of tell you some well, in my case, useful stuff. So in in my case, it's reminding you that this room is equipped with a with a Teams room, so make it a Teams meeting for a better experience. And then I kind of double that message in the auto response. So this is the response you get back when you actually send a meeting invite. So the meeting is scheduled in a room which is equipped with Teams rooms, make it a Teams meeting, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, process external meeting requests and I'm gonna give it a capacity of six. So the next thing is, I mean, you can see that it's grayed out. I can not actually add it. You have to go to license. It's kind of, um, uh, not particularly obvious, but in my case, I'm just going to assign it uh, a Teams Room basic license for now. Uh, I know I'm going against my own uh, biggest rule. I don't have any pro licenses available for this account. I wish I did. Uh, I don't have lots and lots of money to spend in my own lab. So for me, a basic account is absolutely fine for the purpose of showing you this video. So now you can just go ahead and add the resource account. Right. 
There you go. The resource account has been successfully added. Go ahead and close. Just going to go to next. So now this is just talking me through other things like, you know, maybe you want to go ahead and disable uh, multi-factor authentication. Also gives you a couple more handy links to, to go for um, 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 exclusions from conditional access and other conditional access type stuff. So now that you've completed the prerequisites, you can sign into the device with that account. And that's it. Let's go ahead and finish. And that's done. So all I need to now do is go ahead and figure out the password for the account. Uh, I can go ahead and set that in Azure Active Directory or in the M365 Admin Center or whatever, whatever means you've got to set passwords. And then once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and sign into your room account and, uh, and you're ready to rock. Um, you know, I, I kind of waffled through some of these things, but you can see, you know, it's really nice, quick and easy. If you've got, you know, the, the, the text for your mail tip and your auto response and stuff saved somewhere, then, you know, it's just a case of copying and pasting rather than typing it out. If you know the room account and the description, the location and those kind of things, it's just a next, next, next and done. So hope, hopefully I've shown you that creating a Microsoft Teams room account is quick and easy now. You don't have to click around to 15 different portals to, to go ahead and figure it out. You don't have to know PowerShell, although I would urge you to do so. All right, hope that's been useful. See you in the next video.